Hello everyone. My name is Professor Jeff Farber. I am a professor in the Department of Food Science at the University of Guelph and previous director of Microbial Food Safety and Health Canada. We have produced a short video uh, a little while ago on coronavirus and food safety and as a result of that we have received a number of questions that consumers wanted us to address. So I thought I would do that in this short video. One of the main questions that we did get related to preparing food for others. So the question would be in general, is it safe to prepare food for others, especially for seniors or those who are considered to be at high risk of infection? I'd like to first point out that currently we are unaware of any cases of COVID-19 related to either food or food packaging. Before you're preparing food, let's say we'll use an example of uh, parents, elderly parents that you're preparing food for. When you're first starting out, obviously very important not to be preparing food if you are exhibiting any of the typical signs and symptoms of COVID-19 illness. When you are starting to prepare your foods, very important that you wash your hands well with hot water and soap for 20 seconds. Also, I think it's important to know that normal cooking that we use, frying, cooking, or baking, will inactivate the virus because it is fairly sensitive to heat. Some of the temperatures we generally recommend for raw meats, for example, we use a nice slogan, your burger's done at 71, so that would be for ground, ground meats. And other examples could be poultry parts, where we know that we need to cook to an internal temperature of 74 degrees Celsius, and whole chickens should be cooked to an internal temperature of 82 degrees Celsius. Another question we got related to containers. What container should I use? when I'm transporting my food. So really any containers, disposable or non-disposable containers are really good to use. When you're actually delivering the food, I think it's a good practice to phone ahead. You want to drop off the food at the door of your, as I use the example again, of your elderly parents, drop it off, let them know you're coming. When your parents are bringing the food into your house. They should place the food down and then they should go wash their hands again with lukewarm water and soap for 20 seconds. Good practice to when they're after they put the food away into the fridge or the cupboards, they should be disinfecting their counters. Another good practice. And then after that, washing their hands again with lukewarm water and soap. And as in non pandemic times, you know, very important as well before you're starting to eat to again wash your hands. Now this whole sink process would also apply to any foods being delivered to your home or takeout foods and as well the same process in terms of using um, the process of washing your hands well disinfecting surfaces would apply for example to let's say you have an asymptomatic person that would be somebody who's not displaying any symptoms, but is capable of transmitting the virus. Again, the, the methods that I outline in this video would be more than adequate to control any situation in that regard. So I'd like to end again by saying that the measures that are being recommended by public health agencies around the world are very important to follow. So physical distancing, washing your hands frequently, not touching your face, and only going out to buy essential foods and medicine are really the keys to battling this pandemic. Thank you very much.